I am live. Hey, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> Lucci, Lucci's house. Can you hear me okay? I'm using the uh, microphone tonight, so I want to make sure people can hear me okay. It's the first time I've used the microphone for the live stream thing. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, good evening, Tahara. How you doing? Can you hear me okay? I'm using the microphone this evening. Yeah, I. well, I'm trying to, it's a condenser mic, so it's going to make everything sound a little better. Um, I'm, I'm trying to like, you know, make it a, a more uh, easy listening experience for, you know, <laughs> for everybody. All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks. I need the feedback there. So we'll give it time for some people to get in here. We'll uh, get to talking. Um, uh, trip to the Bridge is on for tomorrow. Um, we are going to be going, um, not sure exactly what time yet, sometime in the afternoon. Um, <clears throat> oh, is, is the, is the sound good? Not, not happy. Does it sound better? Is that what you're saying you love? Besides me, I know you love me. But... <laughs> I am, uh, I'm wanting to get a green screen. I'm, 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 uh going to get a green screen so I can uh, do a little uh, uh, more interesting background. So um, <laughs> yeah, numbers are picking up good. Numbers are picking up good. So yeah, we're going to do the Delphi trip tomorrow. Um, haven't mentioned to the wife yet, but I actually think I also want to swing by uh, Flora since we're in the area um, and check out a... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, check out the uh, house from the Flora fire where the, uh, the four girls died. So I uh, might do that tomorrow, but I want to do the Delphi uh, going to do the bridge thing, going to stay off the private property this time. Um, I will go back uh, to the cemetery at least, um, you know, so that we can uh, reminds me of a void. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a pretty good microphone. Um, it's the one that we use when we're recording, Laura and I, when we record. So, I mean, it's it's a condenser mic, so anonymous one. What what band? This band? No, I'm not in this band. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. How's it going? No, this band is Pink Floyd. No, I wish. <laughs> no, not in that band. <clears throat> but um, so got 18 that's pretty good for a start so let's uh i don't want to keep everybody you know too terribly long on a friday night because i know everybody's dying to go out and uh have some fun um but i thought it was pretty important um i wanted to get to it a little bit earlier but my mother-in-law was in town um uh let's see much my crazy i disagree with that on everything rick says but i enjoy listening and good luck <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, the uh, the trip to Delphi um, mainly is going to be to give you guys an idea of the logistics of stuff, um, uh, perspectives and everything. Um, Flora, I haven't been to Flora in, oh my Lord, it's good 25 years i think so it's uh it'll be interesting to say the least <laughs> but um but let's talk about uh delphi for one big reason and here's here's what i i um i don't know if everybody has heard the news um beyond what i've revealed as far as it goes skip jansen um Invite DP tomorrow. He's always invited, man. I want to talk to the guy. I really do. I've, I've been talking to a friend of his and I'm trying to, you know, I want to talk to him because, and we'll get to this too. Is that, that, that's a good way to kind of segue into this. Um, you know, <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, I was, uh, on the road and I was listening to some old podcasts and that's when I came across the one with, uh, Kristen and the captain and, uh, um, skip and he was in Delphi and he kept saying, you know, like so many times it was like, you know, if you listen to the, 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 uh, or if you watch the, the live stream, 
he, he got Delphi in there every, every, probably every three, 30 seconds, you know, at least two or three times a minute, he would talk about Delphi. I'm in Delphi, you know, well, you know, last I had dinner in Delphi and, you know, well here in Delphi and, uh, you know, and all that. And then halfway through it, Kristen says, Hey, Skip, did you tell them where you're at? Oh no, not, not this minute. Let's see. You know, it's been about 22 seconds. Better say it again. I'm in Delphi. Um, I don't think Skip was in Delphi and I'll tell you why. Number one, I know a lot of people in Delphi, and they haven't heard about any guy named Skip coming there to, <laughs> to visit him. Um, he, let's deal with Skip first. Skip is not Skip. His real name is, well, no, we don't know what his real name is. He told me his name was Stephen Wood, that he lives in the panhandle somewhere in Florida, and he has a, like a lighting business or something. Um but I don't think that's his real name. I really don't. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not even sure where he lives. But Skip came along, you know, with this easy Southern draw, you know, and this, you know, he had all the, you know, he had his, all his ducks in a row and everything. And he took the DP theory and he ran with it. But the problem with Skip was that uh, where there were gaps in the story, he filled them in himself. Um, he had some... Uh, well, first of all, we know that they had their little linguist report, which <laughs> once I put that out, I think that's why Skip is now moving on to another uh, person of interest, because I sank their little plan um, for what they were going to do, which I don't even know what it was. But I do know that it involved Jeff Burke's crazy theory that he has about... Uh, <clears throat> It being like partially an accident. Hey, Pamela, how's it going? Um, you know, he shoved Libby and she fell down the hill is his uh, Jeff Burke's new theory. But Skip, and I'm going to keep calling him Skip um, because, like I said, I don't think Stevens is real name. We don't know what his real name is. But he's the guy that came along, went on all the shows and everything and brought the DP theory to Reddit and you know, gave it a, a, didn't give it a face because you've never seen his face. Cause every time he does a show, he hides behind a black screen. You know, one time he said, you know, all oh, my, uh, my computer, my camera's not working on my computer. And the next time he said, you know, Oh, well, I had a piece, I got this. I was going to, I was going to show my face tonight, but there's a piece of black tape over the camera on this laptop. Take the black tape off dummy. But, uh, he, uh, <clears throat> He uh, never shows his face, and I doubt if he ever will. Um, a lot of people say he's Derek Godsey. You know, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't really even care who he is. I do care that he came along to convince everybody that it was definitely DP beyond the shadow of a doubt, you know, and he was so sure about it and was so adamant in his accusations that he wouldn't even say the guy's name. That's why we call him DP to this day, because he wouldn't say the name. And <clears throat> it's ridiculous that now Skip says he has a new POI. Now he doesn't think that DP did it. Okay. Much the same way the burgers which is I picked that up with some from some people in the group, uh, Facebook group. Shout out to anybody in the chat there that's uh, in the Facebook group. Uh, some people uh, came to me through different groups that uh, are opposed to the Greenleys, and he, they call them the Burgers because they're, you know, <laughs> they started out reporting on the Burger Chef murders. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I, why was I put in Facebook? I'll, I'll get to that, why I'm in Facebook jail. Um, it's not really Facebook jail, though. It's some weird kind of Facebook jail where I, I can't post in groups and I can't go live. But I can, I can, I'm, I post on my, uh, do you live near Stu Sutcliffe? But he's dead. He's been dead for a long time. I think he's even, isn't he buried in, in uh, Hamburg? Stu Sutcliffe. Are we talking about the same Stu Sutcliffe? <laughs> they get getting me off to, off topic here. Um, 
<laughs> I have I have pissed off Zucky big time. I don't know. Every time I have been last year, I was in Facebook jail seven months out of the year. So you know that that gives you an idea of uh, um, my history with Facebook. So anyway, you know, Skip comes along and he brings the DP theory out and all this. You know, I know I grown man. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's uh, let's put that. Let's share this one here. Be <laughs> and have you seen the picture that he uses? The picture that he uses is like some like nineteen year old kid or something, you know. <laughs> so, um, then you know, much like with the burgers, where they were going to do their, you know, Lee Kerr was going to segue into oh, the burgers have discovered the real suspect it's kagan klein but i kind of effed that up for him um <laughs> harry styles that's who that is skip's profile pick is harry styles what a loser <laughs> anyway um i kind of threw a wrench in their uh stupid plan there by um coming in and, and taking on Lee Kerr, you know, and that was shout out to the family. That was a family member that asked me to do that. Um, they said, you know, Hey, there's some guy in Facebook and I was in Facebook jail at the time. And I said, I can't do anything about it on Facebook, but I said, I'll, I'll look at Reddit. And he was doing it on Reddit too. So I said, Hey, uh, you know, because at the time there were some things that some people didn't know. It were they weren't common knowledge, and I knew them, and and I knew that Lee, yeah, I knew he was lying. So, same way I knew that Skip was lying. We had a long discussion when I, um, hi Vince, how's it going? <laughs> I had uh, discussed this these linguist notes with a friend of mine. And this friend took a look at the linguist notes and said, mm, no, no. <laughs> there was some of the things that they were looking at. And, and like I said before, Skip and Jeff were going to live and die by the fact that an exchange took place where, uh, BG said to Libby, you know, be nice if you'd tell him. And Libby said, tell him yourself. Guitarista, what's up, guy? Good to see you. Um, so then that was basically the impetus of the fight. That's how the whole thing got started was that, you know, be because these, these phrases were in the linguist report that they had. But I got to looking at them and I thought, well, this is ridiculous, you know. And I talked to someone who is a family member who has heard the recording. And I said, um, hey, 3021, what's up? Ricketeers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I said, is it possible? To, is this on the recording? And they said, no, no, it's not. It was either that or the snail. <laughs> <laughs> that was not, that one's not a good one. <laughs> the snails. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they said, no, that's, that's not on the recording. And if that exchange had taken place, it would have been on the recording because Jeff is trying to say that the words down the hill are not right after like guys and then a response and then down the hill. And he tried to say that, well, you know, if Anna Williams said that, then she heard the recording after it was already altered by the police. They played it from the phone, Jeff. From the phone, Jeff. <laughs> so, no, it wasn't altered. Sooner or later, you're going to have to accept the fact, as did Skip, apparently, that the, the phrase is not there. There is no tell him yourself and there is no be nice if you'd tell him. Now, as I said before, those phrases could be on the recording 
prior to the guys down the hill because it could have been part of the girl talk. And that part could have been part of another recording before, not after, before down the hill. The only way that works. Now, let's talk about Jeff. I mean, Skip. We already talked about Jeff. <laughs> Skip saw where the where the wind was going, see. For a while, the DP theory was big with people. But it was mostly big with people that want to talk about the new big thing. That's not why I got involved in this. I didn't get involved in it to talk about the big thing and all this kind of stuff. Um, oh, no, dude. That's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's we have we have a uh, a room uh actually a house uh humidifier for that that's to muffle so that there's no when i'm playing my bass so that i don't hear woo, 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 coming back from my my uh ibanez that's why i have the <laughs> it's a muffle it's not really for see now we're talking <laughs> I apologize, people that aren't aren't musicians. Um, I don't want to get off on a tangent, but uh, <laughs> we're we're talking about our instruments and everything. Oh, we're talking about our instruments. <laughs> yeah, we have we have a, a humidifier for that. Uh, Laura's the she's the uh, hu humid Nazi about all that. She had to take her guitar in and get it um, redone once, and she was like. She's kind of, she's real uh, meticulous about trying to take care of things like that. So, um, ah, so she's wanting you to elaborate in Messenger. <laughs> but anyway, oh no, it's okay, dude. It's okay. I just don't want to get off that. I don't want to bore everybody with our our uh, uh, musician talk. But anyway, um, the uh, the thing about it was that you know. Skip saw that now he, he didn't have that little hook anymore. People were like, you know, what are they talking about? You know, what's, you know, and, and, and they had like dropped little hints about the uh, uh, linguist report. And, you know, people were like, what's that all about? What is that? You know, and they wanted to know. Well, then I put them out there and everybody saw they're nothing. Everybody that's seen them, they're nothing, right? I mean, you can't even read them really. And um, then not too long after that, I have uh, Zanak Sarita from uh, Reddit who went scorched earth Zanny on me. And she's asking me if I would like to share the uh, screenshot that Skip um, faked from Shelby's grandfather. And I told her, I wouldn't share a damn thing with you. You know, Delphi docs. <laughs> <laughs> Passing notes in guitar class again. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Ann, look at it. Uh, she she actually likes the snails. <laughs> oh man, slow and steady always wins the race. Yeah, tell that to an Andretti. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm bitter. How many years has it been? And what is it the last? I think the oh, I get well, I guess Rossi won. Yeah. Okay. See, that's like uh Andretti fans whine when they haven't won a uh a, a, a Indy 500 in like three years. You know, it's like how Yankee fans whine when they don't win a World Series. So sorry if there's any Yankee fans in that. You know what? I'm a Cubs fan. <laughs> we won our first game in eleven today. So it was a decent game. I love those pitchers duels. So, DP, my stance on the whole thing has not been affected by Skip's. It never was. Skip wanted to be able to, uh, yeah, go Cubs. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, more like Delphi doxing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, Skip wanted to convince people with, lies the the big thing his thing was okay he could put dp on the trails that day and after two o'clock he had no alibi well because the reason he said he had no alibi yes don't forget to hit like
please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> I never say that at the beginning. Um, but when you, uh, you know, when, when, what was I saying now? I just, <laughs> I gotta stay away from those, the lives or the chat over here. Oh, well with, with, uh, with skip, he took a, he had a screenshot and it was supposed to be from Shelby's grandfather. Now you can look at the messages that actually are confirmed to be from Shelby's granddad. And you can even tell the diction doesn't fit the phrasing, you know, it just, nothing fits. You can tell it's not the same person, but skip had this screenshot that was supposed to be from Shelby's grandfather that said, yeah, Shelby left around two. What he did was he took something and then he just kind of copied and pasted that or something. And then he put in, she left around two. But when I posted that, somebody said, they noticed, they said, uh, wait a minute, that can't be right because that's supposed to have been in this program or whatever. And it's, um, it's not, it's not, uh, the date format was wrong. The date format was wrong. So that was how they figured out that this thing was a fake. And then Skip and Jeff are both frantically telling me, take that down, take that down. Oh, you got to take that down. You know, oh, we, we don't, we don't want to talk about Shelby too much. That confuses people that, you know, you don't want to talk about his alibi. You're accusing a guy of double, double child murder. And you don't want to talk about his alibi. That was the reason the very next day I get up, I've got a text on my phone from Skip saying, you know, we are cutting ties with you. We shared privileged information with you and you defied us every step of the way. No, what happened was those guys found out that I had friends in one of the families and they wanted to use my connections with that family to try to further their theory along. And as far as I can tell, the 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 reason for this uh, theory in the first place, Jeff, they tell me, is trying to get the reward, which, hey, if they arrest the right person, I don't care who gets that reward. Take it. <laughs> I don't want it. If I were to get a reward, you guys know where it's going. So... You know, there, there's no, I don't care about a damn reward. Never have. I don't know if Jeff does. I don't know what Skip's motivation is for this. Maybe he thinks he's going to write a book or something. But he had to come up with a way to leave the DP theory behind because now he's got to start getting people behind his new theory. See, he's got to start getting people behind this new guy that he thinks. If anybody ever listened to the... uh if anybody ever listened to the um, garage, true crime garage podcast, the under the bridge garage, true crime garage podcast, you're going to hear Skip and how certain he is laying out this whole thing about DP. OK. And one of the things he said was, and he's very correct about this, everything changed after that 2019 press conference they brought in the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to do a peer review. And that was in 2018. And then shortly after that peer review, they came out and they said, okay, we have a new suspect. This is who it is. And that's when they released the photo. Now, I mean, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the sketch, the young bridge guy sketch. Now, the guy that, Skip is saying is BG now. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I could, I could look it up real quick. But this guy, he's like in his 60s or something. He looks nothing like either one of the sketches. I don't know where this guy comes in. I don't know where he's going with this. Um, it, It's just nuts. Just nuts. Um. But he has decided now that he is no longer, uh, he no longer is following the DP thing, you know. He, and the reason he said, the reason he said is because when he went to Delphi, he talked to some locals. 
and they talked him out of the DP theory. Really? <laughs> well, I'll be in Delphi tomorrow, and I'm going to ask around and see if I can find anybody that talked to him. Um, I wonder, because I know you're watching, Skip, Stephen, whatever the hell your name is, why don't we have any pictures of you in Delphi? Why don't we have any, did you record any of your conversations with the locals? Is it so easy for a guy with a Southern accent to just walk into Delphi and talk to people? Is that what you think? You think everybody's going to sit down and talk to you, Skip? Is that what you think? You're a liar. And I'm telling you that right now. You never been to Delphi. You weren't in Delphi. You never talked to those people. You didn't change your mind because you talked to locals. You changed your mind because you need a new con. Because it ain't working anymore trying to say that DP was mad at Derek German because of meth. And that's why he, you know, Derek wouldn't return his calls. So he went, got mad, and that's why he killed Libby. So because you couldn't push that anymore, you decided you're just going to abandon DP altogether and go to something else. But see, the thing is, I want to find out who did this. And currently, the, the evidence that I have right now still points to the same person. Now, I'm not using your bullshit, phony stuff of saying that Shelby was gone at 2 o'clock, okay? I'm trying to find out for certain what time Shelby left. And eventually I will. It might take me a while, but eventually I will. And if I find out in the course of this that DP didn't do it, then I'm going to want to talk to you, Skip Stephen Wood. I'm going to want to talk to you and see why you decided that it would be okay to do something like that. See, now you're bringing somebody else in. Now you're going to go after somebody else, make somebody else's life a living hell. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so let me let me uh, go through here, and uh, let's look at some of our comments here and see what I've been missing while I've been babbling on here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you all who are giving me the thumbs up on the, uh, <laughs> hey, Esther, how's it going? Go Braves, a little bit. I used to like you. <laughs> you know, that's a, that game was good, man, today. Uh, went down to, uh, I mean, Cubs and the Braves. Braves won like, was it like 15 in a row, 14, 15 in a row. Cubs have lost 10 in a row. And wouldn't you know it, a one to nothing ball game, the Cubs finally get back in the win. <laughs> so I don't expect the same results tomorrow. So, uh, but hey, a little bit welcome, even though you're a dirty Braves fan. Um, let me see here. Did you know Daniel Nation's mother was murdered by his uncle? And I bet that's Peanut. And Daniel Nation's found the body covered in pine straw. Is that right? I did not know that. And what else? What else do we have here? Did you know Dan, Daniel Nation's was a suspect in the murder of Tim Watkins, who was shot and killed with a twenty-two on a nature trail? Well, I did not know that either. But this isn't the Tim Watkins channel. <laughs> it's not the Daniel Nation's channel. Um. It's not Daniel Nations. Um, the law enforcement looked into him, and it's not him. They they cleared him. They said, it's not him. It's not him. So I'm not looking at Daniel Nations. Uh, I mean, those are interesting things. Those are interesting things, though. So uh, have you looked at Jake? Uh, I don't, I'm not even sure who that person is. I don't know who that person is. Can you fill me in? Yes, Tahara. You have to be a Cubs fan. 
<laughs> I don't know how I became a Cubs fan. I really don't. I, uh, I just, I, as, as long as I can remember, I was always a Cubs fan. It's just, it's weird. <laughs> um, um, drink some more of my coffee. There were some texts from David Erskine that were actually true, that were actually him, and they were factual. And then uh, there were some that were faked. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to tell which are which because the fakes are pretty good. But um, uh, it's a it's it's one of those things, you know. And and here's what here's what's really getting to me. Um, it, it, the, the whole, uh Oh, peanut don't spill my coffee, baby. Come here. Come here, peanut. You want to come in and say hi? Come here, baby. Come here. Are you afraid of the microphone? <laughs> um, you see it, now see something I was going to tell you about something that really, you know, what really grinds my gears. Bye, Peanut. Grandma was here this week, Laura's mom, which, I, like I said, I got to be the only guy in, in the world that enjoys having his his uh, mother-in-law visit. But Peanut, the minute Grandma walked in the door, Dad didn't exist. Well, I mean, I, I carried you in my arms while you were bleeding. That's... <laughs> Um, yes, baseball is awesome a little bit. I'm glad you love baseball, but people get your kids into baseball. <laughs> um, here, I think this might be where I was going with this. Um, yeah, I think this might've been where I was going. Um, got distracted by the Detroit Tigers thing. Um, <laughs> my dad was a Tigers fan. He was uh, born and raised in uh, Detroit. So he was a Tigers fan and a boxer because, you know, that's what they did in Detroit back in those days. They fought. <laughs> um, let me close the door because I'm getting a little feedback here from them. I don't understand this. And this is what's bothering me is that it, it, you're, you're getting all of this stuff. It, it, looking at every single word that Kelsey ever said. And it's just ridiculous. Come on, people. The girl has been through so much in the past couple of years. And it's just not logical to think that she has anything to do with the murders or anything. I mean, it's just, oh, man. Who has paid their cover charge? Uh, we're 25 likes short. <laughs> uh, Brad Heath was blowing the horn. Yes. Oh, because somebody asked earlier. Okay, I remember seeing that now. Yeah, that was, uh, um, uh, yeah, Brad Heath. Was that, that was like, was that, was that the first year anniversary when he went and blew the horn? The thing there. Jules, 602, I'm a former boxer. Yes. That, <laughs> my dad was a welterweight. Um, he was a little guy, a little, little angry guy. <laughs> <laughs> little angry Irish English guy. Um, <clears throat> Keener worked for uh, Ferris Tribune in Logansport. According to story, he was already there at the trails photographing the cemetery. He was also the person who reportedly spotted clothing. Oh, that that's interesting. That's interesting. So he was there when the murders happened. Is that what you're saying, Brian? That's why I'm also going to Logansport tomorrow, by the way. Um, I'm originally from Logan sport, born and raised there. And, uh, um, I'm going there for father's day to see my son. Um, so I will be there tomorrow evening after we leave Delphi, we'll be going straight on to, uh, Logan sport. So this, um, this Keener guy, so he is a photographer that was, he said he was already there at the trails photographing the cemetery. I mean, was he doing it? 
Was he photographing the cemetery during? Oh, unless you misunderstood. Hmm. Hmm. What's Sally Ann? Who are you referring to? Hester. Yeah, man, I live in Beach Grove. That's where uh, that's where Laura and I, that's where I'm sitting right now in Beach Grove. <laughs> um, oh, I see what you're, you're talking about, Kelsey. You're talking about Kelsey. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, <clears throat> East Chicago, born and raised. Yeah. Are you, so you live in Indy, Hester? Is that what you're saying? You're, you're here in Indianapolis in the nap town. That's a good question. Tahara. Is it like a, is it a historical cemetery? It's, it's really small. I'll show you tomorrow when I go there. I'll, I, we, we went uh, past it last time, but I didn't use a, uh, uh, I didn't record while I was there. Um, I just drove past it. I was mainly looking for a shack at the corner of the cemetery because I had been told there was one there, but there wasn't. So yeah, I figured out Sally Ann. Yeah. I, I figured out what you were saying there when I, right when I put it up, I was like, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're not in Indianapolis, Hester. You're actually up in. Yeah. Cat. Well, okay. Okay. Prove it. What do you got? What do you got for me? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll root for the Irish once in a while. I'll root for the Irish. Um, well, yeah. I mean, if I'm watching an Irish basketball or football game, I'll root for the Irish, you know. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm mainly, I'm a Butler guy. You know, <laughs> I like Butler. So that's what I usually when I'm watching. Uh... Oh, you're going to the dunes tomorrow? Tahara? Oh, my God. I love the dunes. I love the dunes. Yeah. So are you, you you're going to are you uh, you're going to drop by Delphi after the dunes? Because we're going to be there uh, in the afternoon that we, we have to be back in Logan Sport at 6 p.m. tomorrow. So. Um, so anyway, to get back to the whole skip thing, <laughs> this was the whole thing. That was the whole setup. The whole setup is to say that he decided that he's done with the DP thing now because, um, he talked to some locals and the locals set him straight with the DP thing. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Um, tomorrow, I don't know if it would be too too uh, cold tomorrow. I really don't. Um, when we went, I think it was more. I think it was closer to ninety, maybe a little over. Um, but the water wasn't really that cold. I thought the water was kind of warm. Well, not warm, but, you know, relatively speaking. The linguist notes came from a woman in Canada. Okay. But how does that prove that Lee is not, or that uh, Kevin isn't Lee Kerr? Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm not even... Um, those linguist notes don't mean a damn thing to me. I mean, they never really have because when he sent them to me, you know, they acted like they had the Holy grail or something. And when they sent them to me, I looked at him and I was like, what the hell is this stuff? It's nothing. You know, I even told him, you know, I said, well, I don't know what we're looking or, you know, reading here. You know, I, I don't understand. And he said something about, well, there's an index to tell you what you're looking at. Okay, which also, um, I wanted to talk for a minute about I because I I've been watching um oh what is the the name of the 
it's this woman that does the the Delphi thing, and I'm I'm pretty sure she's I'm I'm sure she's a Shane Evans person. Um, she thinks it was Evans, but she's been posting stuff from the the helicopter search or whatever. And she's doing the same kind of stuff. And then as above, so below has been doing this again. Like, you know, oh, look at this. You know, do you see what I see? And it's like, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they're looking at. I don't, I mean, people ask me, you know, somebody was in my comments last week and they were like, you know, do you, do you not see something there? And I said, no. And they said, well, well, be honest. Is it because your eyes are bad or, or something or, you know, no, my eyes aren't bad. I have a pretty new phone. Um, I have a very new computer. Um, I don't see nothing. And true crime. Thank you. True crime design channel, Brian Hart. Thank you so much. Um, she's posting these things and it's like, you know, and I do like some of her stuff. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> and I've never seen anything in, in him either, Hester. I, I swear to God, I'm like, you know, what the hell is this thing I'm looking at? I don't see. And I, as I've always said, if you have to be told what you're looking at, you know. So, but I, you know, I he got mad at me because I posted those. I think he thought they were new ones, but they're not. They're they're those. If if you watched them. Um, they're not new ones. I made them months ago. He got mad at me over the pictures because I told him, I said, dude, this is a bridge I can't cross with you, you know, so to speak. I said, I, I, I don't see anything in those pictures. And he got mad. And, um, could I see what he sees? Yes, but I do believe that's what it is. I don't know. What, Jules, in the pictures you mean? That you're seeing what he sees. <laughs> oh, I I can't see nothing, man. I really can't, you know. Um, True Crime Designs, one of the Kelsey haters. I kind of thought she might be because um, I had seen some of the stuff, you know, that she has um, been saying recently. I haven't watched all of her stuff, just some of the things. She has this annoying habit of um oh he leads oh i see what you're saying yeah that you can see it but yeah okay yeah i see what you're saying jules yeah he um he leads you to see what what he wants you to see you know he says this is what it is yeah you know which like i said i <coughs> you know if you got to be told you know um but it, it, and like I said, it was nothing that I did uh, was meant to be like um, mean spirited or anything. He got kind of mad and yelled at me, and he did this whole thing with Rick. What do you say when you're a Rick? You know, and he was, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> um, it was just strange because he got so upset at me for not being able to see anything in those pictures. And I told him, I said, calm down, dude, you know, and then I made those as it was just kind of a joke thing, you know, just kind of to laugh at. And, uh, you know, and he got mad then and he got mad now. So um, why are you isolating Skip as the only person into the DP theory? Am I doing that, anybody? Am I doing that? Do you, Kat, do you realize who I think did the killing? Do you realize who my person of interest is? <laughs> I never said he was the only one into the DP theory. <laughs> my person. <laughs> I don't even know why you'd say that. <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay, let's talk about the rot. The water theory came from Randy recently. What is it? Yes, she does. She misses your point. 
talking about skip changing. Right, exactly. I, be I believe that's true. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what, is, what, what is, see, I totally understand KG. Oh, I'm sorry. Say I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, I, that's a tough one. Um, when I was 24, 25 ish, I think, um, my very best friend in the world that married my sister, um, they, uh, found him Well, my, my best friend that married my sister, it was his brother who was another, we were like the three musketeers and they, um, found his brother, um, dead. He had committed suicide. And that, that was rough because, you know, you, you just think about the last few times you talk to him and you wonder, you know, was there anything there? You know, it's tough. So I feel for you, Sally, and I really do. But it's it is you grieve in different ways. People when I when my uh, wife of almost 20 years passed away in 2004, um, I went right back into my job at the time, which was a, a political job. You know, I went right back out to D.C. Um, uh, I think her I think we had her funeral. Uh, on Friday and Sunday night, I was back on the Capitol Express. Um, yeah, mine was over 25 years ago, too. It, it just, it never leaves you, you know. It never leaves you. But, uh, so anyway. Yeah, I can you do Gray Hughes? Well, you know, I have to watch him a little bit more. I want to be able to do him, because you know what? I, I think I look enough. I could put the headphones and a hat on and everything, but uh, to sound like him, I'd have to listen to him a little more. Cause I really don't. I, I, it's really funny because gray was one of the first people that came after me. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, Sterling, I, I don't care. I don't care, dude. <laughs> I really don't. Um, but yeah, it, Yes, that's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Right there is exactly me. <laughs> but, well, thank you, Tahara. I, I... <laughs> uh, um, I don't know who Matt is. Are they... oh, oh, you're talking about Matt Sullivan. Oh, Kat. Um, yeah, I do have friends in the family. I do. And what's that? mean i guess I, we got to talk about that now i guess um <laughs> i don't know um i got one person sitting here keep <laughs> because if he was talking about daniel nations he would go arrest him sterling just stop it just stop it <laughs> if, <laughs> if you think it was daniel nations tip him in you might win some money. <laughs> so, um, right, Hester, they say covered. Yeah. They, they're not interested in Daniel Nations anymore. And, and you can sit here and say that, you know, oh, it's a lie that Carter talked to him and all that kind of stuff, you know, and whatever, you know. I'm just not interested in it. They're not interested in it. Nobody wants to hear about Daniel Nations, so. So what's the rest of the story, Cat? Me and Matt. Me and Matt. What's what about Matt? <laughs> Why do you want to bring up Matt Sullivan? And uh, uh, what what do you want to uh, what do you want to say with the uh, with this whole uh, Matt thing? <laughs> Is that, are you, are you talking to me, Jules? <laughs> I do have pals in the family um, and they're good people. They're very good people. 
one of them I've known since fifth grade. So, ah, well, thank you. I love you guys too, man. I say it all the time. I don't say it enough. Um, my subscribers, man, I just love you guys. You're the best. I just, you know, um, I guess when you have 600 people that are willing to listen to you say something, I, you know, it, <laughs> it's, it's kind of humbling in a way. Um, yes. Like, like, like go through, like all those videos and tell all your friends, go like this. <laughs> and it gets up higher in the thing. I, <clears throat> I actually lost probably, um, oh, I think I lost about 10 subscribers over the uh, uh, reposting the as above, so below. But you know what? The funny thing is, the last time when I posted them, the title I gave them was... Um, uh, as above, so I blow. And this time I said, as above, I don't know, you know, so it was a little bit nicer, you know. <laughs> um, but let's see. So has anyone heard comedy is dead, Delphi edition? What, what is that? Is that, uh, what is that 3021? What is it? Is it a uh, comedy show about, I mean, I, you know, murder monkeys. That's right. They all look like dusty roads from old time wrestling too. So <laughs> somebody posted a video and said, uh, uh, you might find this compelling. And, um, it was an old interview with Dusty Rhodes and he was doing his thing. And I commented back, the American dream. And his only reply was, well, this was an unexpectedly funny response or something like that. <laughs> um, yes, I did, stranger. I did. I got, well, I've actually had it. I've had it for some time. Um, I... I understand this. I understand this, that that's the story, but I have not proven it yet. So I'm trying to run it down. Kat, do you offer any kind of proof for the things that you say, or do you just go in and just drop all this shit and then just, you know, say, you know, if, if you can prove anything that you say, then please get in touch with me. Um. <laughs> Most everybody's findings in this case is in the words of Gene Kelly and singing the rain, banana oil. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty much true. That's pretty much true. But yeah, stranger, good to see you. I've had, I've had this mic for a long time and I just didn't, I, the other day I was thinking, why the hell don't I use that mic? You know, it's a condenser mic, so it'll make the sound a little bit easier to listen to and everything. Yes. A double DP. It's a, it's a dual DP. It's not a duel. No, it's a throwdown. <laughs> These little things that run through my head. That's a commercial. I'm sure that somebody's heard it. Um, it's not just me, is it? Um, but Laura and I, we go through these commercials, like with the chicken thing. Chicken time. <laughs> Wings, etc. That's a local local one that they used to have. You know, the one that really gets me is the 1877 Cars for Kids. Oh, I hate it hate it so anyway yeah i would like to find out about that i do know that there are two dps that they uh have talked about and um they both actually have the same name so from the i have gone i have gone live from the garage before yeah <laughs> Let's see. Double DP. Boom, boom. Da, 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 da. Two DPs. <laughs> Two DP. Well, you know, the whole is Hulk Hogan there. 
No, he he was too busy. Well, I'll tell you what, brother, the Hulk was too busy making a sex tape with the. <laughs> yes, sir. Guy waits all his life to get a reality show and then decides, you know, I'm going to go make a sex tape with some little chippy and uh, <laughs> ruins the whole thing. What an idiot. So anyway, we're coming up on an hour, so we'll get off of here before too much longer. Um, I wanted to bring up um, if I don't know if any of you have heard about a uh, young lady named Paula Turkovich. Hey, Peter, how's it going? What part of the UK are you in, man? Uh, Pamela asks if I think there were two people on the bridge with the girls. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, mostly because of what law enforcement has said. Um, nothing would surprise me in this case. Nothing. So if there was, it wouldn't surprise me, but, um, but, but as of right now with what I, with what I know, with what's been revealed, I don't think so, but, um, it's possible, you know, always possible. So sunny Wales. All right. Well, thank you, Peter. I'm glad you liked the videos. I'm glad everybody, um, was able to stop in tonight on a Friday night. You know, like I said, I, I think I got off track when I was going to talk about my, uh, my mother-in-law, you know, who is a wonderful woman, which, you know, of course, you know, look at the woman that she raised. So, <laughs> um, but she's a great woman and I love her to death and it's so much fun to have her around. And, um, I was just really, really happy that she was here. And I, I thought a couple of times about, um, trying to do a live. And then I thought, you know, well, you know what, she's not going to be here again for another year or so, you know, so. Sterling Cox, if law enforcement came out and said they were not interested in DP, would you drop him as a suspect? Yeah, I'd have to. I mean, why continue it? If they're not, if they're not interested in him anymore, why continue it? You know, she is not like the song mother-in-law. Nope. <laughs> Most people, you're, you're dating yourself, Jules. <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't know that one. The kids don't know that one. Um, but anyway, I was talking about Paula Turkovich. And um, this is someone that um, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about her a little bit here in the future, too. So if you uh, want to get a leg up on that, you can look into it. Um, uh, I just recently started communicating with her mother and I want to help her get the word out and try and get this case reopened because they have, cl they have closed the case as a, apparently a suicide or an accident or something. I don't know. Um, but, um, they want to look into it and see if it was actually a murder as, um, her family suspects it was. So, uh, if you want to look into that again, it's uh, her name was uh, Paula Turkovich, and that's T U R K O V I C H. And um, going to be communicating with her mom and talking to her and everything. Um, if possible, um, I could, you know, actually even bring her on onto a live stream, um, which the uh, the point of this, for one thing, would be. Um, getting a family's perspective from the, you know, the side of the person that has uh, lost someone and the case has not been solved. So now see, that's something right there that you just said that that's, I agree with that. I agree with that. Oops. That's not the one. This is the only thing you've said tonight that I agree with cat. <laughs> that's it right there. And so Mike from that chapter, I don't know who Mike is. I don't think I'm not sure my star sign. You mean the, uh, horoscope thing is that I'm, I'm a Libra. If that's what you're asking me there. 
Is that is that what you're asking me? I'm a Libra. <laughs> so, uh, to sum up what we've talked about this evening, um, I think honestly that Skip owes some people an explanation. He has been, from what I've heard, he's been um, avoiding talking to the captain. He has some falling out with uh, Fig, and um, they uh, have been um, trying to get a hold of him too. And and Fig can't get a hold of him, I guess. Or he's been he's been uh, uh, avoiding everybody, and he won't talk about you know this whole thing. Um, so I think he, uh, owes people an explanation. Um, I would like to see his pictures and stuff from Delphi. I'd like to see if he, uh, you know, he talked about, oh, I was thinking about going live from Delphi, you know, but I didn't for, you know, whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> If anybody happens to want to uh, go by the bridge tomorrow, like I say, it will probably be closer to around, I would say, about two. If I had to, if I had to pick a time, I would say probably around two. Um, if you decide to do it, um, you can always uh, find me um, on Facebook and uh, communicate with, with me through uh, Facebook Messenger. Um, so if you're going to decide, if you decide you're going to go, um, you know what I look like, right? So, um, <laughs> yes, hit the like button, guys. Smash that like button. <clears throat> so, smash it. Smash that like button for my friend here. Yeah, do it for old Bill. For all those years I put up with Hillary. Thank you, Why. I thank you very much. He already, stranger, he already did he challenge me to a street fight. I don't know if it was him or not, but when somebody saying it was him asked me, uh, told me to meet him down at, uh, by the Hoosier, or the Hoosier Dome. Get out of my yard, you little bird. Um, uh, RC, RC, what do they call that thing now? They say the Lucas Oil Stadium. Um, and I went down there and, and uh, you know, recorded this thing walking around going, where's Kevin? Kevin! And then that that's where that uh, one of the little parody videos I've seen about me that I thought was kind of funny is a little that He-Man going, Rick, 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 Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and they put part of that video in there. They had me going, Kevin. And then they did the Home Alone thing, you know, with like, Kevin. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. I like that. But now, now Greenlee don't want a piece of me. He don't want a piece of me in the street, and he don't want a piece of me on the microphone. He, he don't, he, he, he won't even, it's like, you know, oh, like uh, Lee Kerr told me, he won't come on my show and talk to me because he doesn't want to uh, legitimize my channel and all this kind of stuff. So I said, oh, all right, well, let's go on. You know, pick a channel. We'll go on something. Yeah, he won't do it. He won't do it. You know, none of them will. Skip's new POI. Um, let me, here, let me find the guy's name for you. Um. Who sent it to me? Oh, right here. Um, John Galitko. G-O-L-I-T-K-O. This guy, he looks nothing at all. Nothing at all like, uh, let me see here. See if I can find a better picture. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, come on. Sometimes I get, there we go. You guys will be able to see this if I hold it up there. Can you, oh, where's the camera? Can you see that? Can you see the guy? That's him. 
That's the guy that Skip says is BG. You tell me. Does that look like that second sketch? What's your game, Skip? Because I'm going to be here to screw that one up, too. <laughs> he don't want that smoke. He don't. He don't a little bit. Rick and Randy, you mean, are you talking about Randy Orton? Oh, no, wait a minute. You're talking about Randy Savage. Isn't he dead? Okay, brother, I'll claw my way up. Ooh. He looks like a crazy guy. <laughs> the stranger says Calico looks like a, like a, crazy. <laughs> Like that woman in The Simpsons <laughs> throws the cats at people. That's funny. I'll tell you what. Yeah, Randy, grab it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. That is so. Uh, it just exactly. Yeah, that's the guy that I think it's the guy that uh, stands right there when you're getting off on Pendleton Pike, and he's got the little sign that says, "You know why lie? It's for beer." It might be. I don't know. <laughs> oh, is that right? I don't know these Galico people. But Bean says the Galicos are bad folks. I do not know them. I don't know them. I do remember Bobo Brazil. Yes, I do. Bobo Brazil. It was it uh oh no Pepper Gomez is the one that had the cast iron stomach. And you go to punch him. Oh well, you know, broke his hand on it and shit. Hey Lipsha, how you doing? Lipsha, are you in Indianapolis? Are you one of them that's in Indianapolis? I think you had asked me about the ride to remember. I don't I, I don't think that's the same thing as the one that Laura and I are doing. We are playing uh, July 16th at Kitley Inn uh, from 1 to 3, um, Weathered Hearts, which is the uh, duet that Laura and I um, used to do, and we retired it, and we're going to pull it out of the mothballs for at least a show. I, I think I can receive private messages. Let me see here. I don't see one right now, but I think I can, yeah. <laughs> But you know, it. Um, oh, that yeah, I'll go. I hate that. I hate the you know. The one with the one they have the guy. It's uh, like a uh, country guy, and he's doing the. Uh, uh, one eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. I hate that shit. <laughs> um, the good place, the that show, the good place, Ted Danson, when they had the bad place, which of course was supposed to be hell. Um, they had a part where they were doing a meeting of all the demons, and they said, "But first, let us stand up and sing the the official song of the bad place." And they all stand up and they start going. One eight seven seven cars for kids, and they're all singing it real serious, like and everything. <laughs> what is this about? Oh, it's a hot chick. <laughs> what? I just got a message from a. Foxy mama sitting in the other room. Anyway, so we are uh, up past a uh, 22 likes short, people. Hit that, hit that. <laughs> um, I will be attempting to go live from the bridge tomorrow. Um, we'll see if it works. Uh, the thing that might stop it will be if I don't have a signal. I didn't think about that before, but last time I was there at a certain point, I lost the signal. I don't know where it was. 
um, if I am not able to go live, I will do what I did last time. I'll record videos and I'll make sure I get them uploaded right away. But hopefully I will uh, be able to go live um, from the bridge. And if you guys are watching, you can ask me, you know, well, what's this over there? Or can you show us this or that? And uh, um. <laughs> look at this one here. You better smash that like, people. You better do it. Remember Major Payne? Major Payne just terminated that bad man in the closet with extreme prejudice. And if he's still in there, he ain't happy. <laughs> oh, well, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, trying to do little things here and there to make the experience even better. Like always showering before I get on and the microphone now. <laughs> of course, you can't smell me through the screen. So, you know. The shower may be unnecessary, but I shower once a week, whether I need it or not. So, yeah. All right, folks, I think I'm going to get off of here for now, but uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. Um... <laughs> um, but uh, say about correctly, saying about correctly, not about, 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 about. <laughs> That's the Canadian about about Canadian and um, also uh, ketchup chips, ketchup chips. Yes. Um, I can show you that tomorrow, Peter. Um, there's there's not a lot there. I mean, they they they, they oops, they could have ran. Um, they could have ran and all, but yeah. Um, but they, uh, I don't think they would have got that far. So team Tony's comedy dead with Sandra edge record your reaction for us. Okay. <laughs> Later on, Jerry. <laughs> all right, folks. I will uh, see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you, you peace to you, Jules. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. Pass videos around. Try and get uh, more people the word for uh, getting this uh, case in front of everybody. Um, <laughs> believe me a little bit. She's glad you take me off of her hands for a while. Uh, my Facebook is, uh, well, the, the group is Delphi After Dark. Um, and my Facebook is just me, Rick Snay. So, um, but there are several Rick Snays. You have to look for the one where I'm feeding Laura cake at our wedding because she let me know ahead of time, you will not be smashing the cake on my face. <laughs> and I figured I had to let her have that much because I had worn an Amy Winehouse shirt underneath my other shirt. And, you know. She, uh, when I unbuttoned my, my shirt, she saw the Amy Winehouse shirt. She said, you wore her to my wedding. <laughs> so, all right, folks, I'm out of here. I will see you tomorrow one way or another, either go live or I'll put up some videos from the, uh, from the bridge. If I don't have a uh, connection, thanks so much for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed the microphone. Um, it'll be here each time I do these things now, probably even for recordings because it'll probably sound better. So, but thanks guys. I love you guys, man. Thanks so much. Um, have a great weekend and I will talk to you tomorrow.